Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of our Minecraft 1.14 Let's Play. Hope you guys are all doing well today. I'm doing fantastic. Today is episode 53 and I have got just an awesome episode planned for you guys. I'm actually going to be working on the villager project today and it's going to be an awesome time getting started with that. But before we get into the video, let's do question of the day. So my question for you is, you're allowed to go back in time and change one decision one decision, one decision that you have made in your life and see a different outcome. What decision do you change? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'm really looking forward to reading this one. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys enjoy this series and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and turn on notifications when the videos come out. Let's get into it. Okay, guys. So to get started with today's video, I went ahead and built our first building inside of the village now this is a very standard and stock blacksmith house from the new villages in minecraft and we are going to transform this thing into something special so this is just like a tried and true basic villager house and we're going to make some cool changes to it so i think the first thing that we should probably do is think about the roof because the roof to me is probably the worst looking part of this thing now what I am thinking about doing, let me grab a few other things real fast. I'm gonna grab some of these as well. Um, what I am thinking about doing to change this is to first off, let's get rid of this. These gotta go. These are just ugly. They don't match anything that's within this building anymore. Um, now my thought process was to, um, let's make a, oh, I got villager breeding. So I lost a bunch of villagers here a while back and I'm so happy to see that they're breeding again. There we go. Make a bunch of slabs into make stairs. And then I think I'm actually going to um, <clears throat> make the side of this come off the edge here a little bit. So let's go down and then go up. Now, the way that they're doing things with this building, they put a slab there and then they put an upside down stair there. Doing the same thing until we come all the way to the middle. So what I want to do is I want to build this roof out and make it like a full kind of full on building because I think that that little cutoff is probably the ugliest thing that I've ever seen in my life. Now, <clears throat> on the other side, they don't really have that there. So I may, may not do the overhang like that. Let's check and see what that looks like real fast. Um, well, maybe it, it, it doesn't really connect very well right there. So yeah, give me just a second with this guys. We're gonna do a bunch of cuts and when we come like obviously we're gonna build it through as we go so okay guys so i have adjusted the roof i really like the way that it turned out uh it does need a little bit more work still but we're working on it so next thing i want to do is i want to work on the sidewalls i'm gonna grab some oak logs some glass panes and some cobblestone walls i think i think i'm gonna get rid of this fence right here and put a cobblestone wall in instead Kind of gives it a better look, but I'm also considering removing the cobblestone altogether. Not really, not all the cobblestone, but I'm thinking that I might want to put a pillar in right there. I'm not really sure that I like that. Maybe instead of putting it in right there, we just move it in a block and go right here. See what that looks like instead. Now see that? That actually looks really, really good. So next thing I want to do is one of my tried and true methods of doing a roof. And we got to go up a little bit here. There we go. You're also going to notice that I extended the roof out just a little bit. I think it looks much better this way. Put it just like that. I don't know if I'm going to keep that one there. I don't know if I like that one. There we go. And then I am also going to break this down a little bit. And whatever we do on this side, we will do on the back side to make it look very, very even. Extend that up a lot. So now that's got a very tall front face. There we go. I like that a lot better, actually. So then we will get rid of uh, this. But I think what we can do now is we can remove. I just realized there's no game sound. I had it turned off because of hostels. That's right. There we go. What we can do now is we can extend the inside of this um, up one block. So let's get rid of this and we can go up an extra extra guy there. That's going to give us a little bit more room in the roof and I'm going to like it a lot, I think. 
Put that right there and that right there. And I'll fix all the little details later. Okay. <clears throat> so now that I have uh, extra room right there, first thing that I think we're going to do is get rid of this wall and put a full window in here. Now we can do two things. We can put a like full, full window or we can kind of keep it like that. I kind of like that a lot better though, to be honest with you. Okay. And then for this one, we'll put that, oops, wrong block. Put that right there. And then I think what we're gonna do, do I have any, I have two stairs, perfecto. And we're gonna put upside down stair here and an upside down stair there. Try to make it look right, but I put it in the wrong way. Try that again, I have to go up a little bit. Okay, so now that that's taken care of, there we go. Something like that, I think. That works out pretty well. Um, there we go, so let's get rid of this. Now I wanna work on the inside here. I wanna get rid of that a little bit, I think. So what I think we're probably gonna do is shorten the steps up to have two, that way it kind of lines up better. Um, and we can technically get rid of this entire wall here. This does not need to be here anymore because this was holding the lava and we're not using the lava anymore. So get rid of all this. And we're gonna go back to our method here. We're going to put another wooden pillar in just like that. And I'll probably actually run that pillar up all the way to the top right there and i'm also going to put our wood all the way up to the top like we had before really like the way that this is looking okay this has actually turned out quite nice so what i think we should probably do though is try to keep the theme throughout and since this is a blacksmith building he is going to have customers and things like that so let's get rid of this get rid of this so you see how it's, there's like a natural opening right there. What I think we're probably going to do is get rid of this wall, make another door, put the doors right there. And then I think I'm going to um, put an overhead arch there. Let me grab some more cobblestone real fast and fix this. Put that right there. And then let's get rid of this and fix that so we'll have to put a block above this i think maybe um maybe some cobblestone stairs would look good right there oh i left my where did i leave my crafting table i put it somewhere there it is so we'll put uh we'll put some stairs there and uh grab that and then maybe same there too i actually really like the way that that looks Kind of looks like a full block from here, but we can put two doors in there. So I've got a little bit more done. I want to go ahead and just work on this a little bit more off camera. Okay, guys. So I went and got a few more extra blocks and I want to kind of show you what I did. Although I am not a huge fan of the way that this looks. I may need to make some more slabs for that, but let's, um, let me see if I have any more slabs over here. Let me grab that and need my crafting table, which I don't know what I did with. I lose crafting tables more than anybody. And I am completely blind because I had these right here. I went and grabbed anvils thinking I didn't have any. <laughs> I'm out of it today, boys. I'll tell you that. All right. So. Uh, oh, that needs to be a stair. There we go. Okay. So a few things. Um, I really like the way that this is enclosed in with wood now. I still feel like there should probably be more stuff here, but I'm not too worried about that. So you walk up, you walk in the doors. There's going to be some, some decoration in here. That's where I wanted your guys' opinion on how I should handle the decoration for this area. This is going to be his little service window. Um, and he's going to do all those little blacksmithing stuff out here. And I think it's going to work out pretty freaking well. Uh, overview of the house. It turned out really, really well. I like how the transform took over. Um, so if you guys have any recommendations for how this should look, let me know. Oh, by the way, these stairs right here. Very good. Very good. End up doing the wood on the top of the wood there. Wood on top of the wood. Yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, let's go ahead and move on, I think. So let me know what you think about this, though, in the comments. 
all right guys this next part of the video is either gonna work really really well or really really badly <laughs> it's gonna probably go pretty bad but hey that's what things are for right let's turn uh friendly creatures off so i want to get some wither roses so i've gathered all my wither skeleton skulls my soul sand and some buckets of water and if you don't know a wither skeleton or a wither boss to get a wither rose needs to kill a mob so what i think i'm gonna do is i think i'm gonna allow some sheep to fall down maybe let's try it in like batches here let me just see if i can push some sheep off the edge yeah you know what i'll do i'll do this right here this will make this pretty fast there we go just keep pushing them off the edge real fast okay so i have allotted some sheep in the hole let's go ahead and jump down <laughs> this is gonna go pretty bad <laughs> oh my god switch to our chest plate here um okay so what do you think the chances of him killing them are um can i get i can't really get back there i need somewhere to go where i'm safe i don't know that's not gonna work either because all the sheep are just gonna go back there there we go all right well i'm just gonna try to make <laughs> i'm gonna try to make it back there this is gonna go really bad by the way all right here we go with a rose time baby i need at least three one two shoot okay can't get it up there there we go get the hell out of the way Whew. moves cheap all right let's watch <laughs> this is gonna go really bad okay is he noticing them he's not really noticing them that's a lot of dead sheep right there okay uh there's a way i got an idea guys I got an idea watch out sheep Flood, uh, floodgates open there we go yes yes <laughs> guys seriously go over there. there we go so now all the sheep are heading that way why is he not uh why is he not killing them That's pretty bad. Go right here. I should be able to tank most of this hit. Go this way. Got him. There we go. Okay. Oh, I got some perfect. Oh my god. I cannot believe that just worked. Hold on. What do we got? What do we got? Let's see how many we actually got from that Hold on, let me get rid of this water real fast. I cannot believe that plan. Oh Oh <laughs> Poor sheep. Okay. Do we pick everything up? Let me make sure All right guys, we got oh my god. We got 16 of them that was ridiculous. I cannot believe that plan just worked. Ah, God, Wither Roses are fun. Anyways, the reason why I wanted Wither Roses is because I want to use them in our mob farm. I'm going to go over there now. Okay, guys, I am on my way down to the, the triple spawner, and I want to use the triple spawner as a mob, like kind of an automated grinder, because since we're getting all kinds of XP, over here i have uh really don't okay so you can't plant those on there what can you plant these on can you plant these on like dirt then let me go upstairs because i thought that you could plant the wither rose on anything apparently i was wrong hmm okay so that kind of changes how we're gonna have to do things i'm assuming i can put it on dirt that makes sense i really thought that you could place it on anything let me check and see so What's over here? Stone brick is over here. Let's go ahead and sleep real fast. 
Hey, Mr. Doggo. How are you doing today, buddy? Okay, so can I place it here? I can place it on grass, but for some reason I just can't place it on anything else. Grab some dirt. Uh, this, 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 and this, and I'm on fire. There we go. Okay, let's go back downstairs because we may have to change how this works. What we might have to do is make it to where a minecart moves back and forth because I don't think the items will be able to pick up through the hopper. I guess if it was a half slab, that could work. All right, we'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. Oh, I went down too far. <laughs> Am I in the, did I go down the wrong ladder? I went down the wrong ladder. Oh my God, guys, I'm so sorry. Let me see if I can fly out of here. There we go. Yeah, there's two ladders over here. You have to go down the right one to get to the right spot. So what? Would, I guess what we could do is, um, <clears throat> I was gonna say we could put, we're gonna have to use dirt though. So I have to get down there first. Okay. So now into the spawner. So if I get rid of this guy, there we go. Put the dirt down. Put that right there. We have to remember, we have to stand over here. So I've never, like I said, I've never like used this before. So I want to see how it works. The mobs should be flowing. Yeah, so the mobs will be here in just a second. Anything? Anything at all? Nothing? Oh, there we go. So yeah, they're dying almost instantly. Wow, that's really fast. This could be a definitely a great AFK mob grinder. Okay, with that being said, we've got to probably remove the bottom here. And there are going to be some hoppers right here. Let's get rid of these. There we go. And I think the easiest way to solve this would probably be to, let's make a crafting table. There we go that right there let me put this chest down so i can get some stuff out of the inventory here um and then we'll just maybe use like a rail system or something unless hoppers can pick those blocks up which i don't think they can no okay so yeah i'll have to make some powered rails uh let me see if there's any gold downstairs i don't think there would be any gold down here but i wanted to check just to make sure so yeah, I will switch this over to powered rails because that's the only thing I don't have. Okay, guys, everything is working properly now. Um, the mobs are spawning. Uh, they fall down into there, get killed by the wither rose. The only thing that I am seeing that is an issue right now is some of the drops are falling forward. But if we were to just AFK here for a few hours, we could get just amount, uh, the insane amount of drops that we could ever like hope or want in our entire lives. Um, yeah, there's a lot there already. Okay, so I think this worked out pretty well. Uh, I also wanted some wither roses because for one, I've never used them before. I don't even know how they work. I literally had to Google how to even get them. And then my absurd plan actually worked. So I'm kind of sad that they don't drop XP though. I wonder if the mobs were like aggroed at you, if that would work. Like if they saw me like, and then fell down. Cause that wouldn't that make them mad? The problem is you have to be over there like super fast. I don't think that's gonna work since you have to stand here to basically AFK. Um, <clears throat> guys, I think that's probably going to take care of today's episode of Let's Play. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. This is iJevin. Peace out, everybody.